Hey everybody, welcome to Joking Drums on Drum Talk TV. I'm John Kinsting, and I'm so, so, so excited today because today we have something new, something really special. First, I want to introduce you to a drummer by the name of A.D. Adams, if you don't already know him. Now, A.D. plays with a group by the name of Louis Prima Jr. and the Witnesses. And their type of music, the genre they get into, is, uh, let's just say retro, okay? But to identify it more closely, it's sort of um, post-swing era and uh, pre-rock and roll. Other artists that have dealt in this uh, genre would be Louis Prima, and Brian Setzer, and Bill Haley in the Comets. So that's kind of where we're headed. Now, to talk about AD a little bit further, um, AD is a contributor to Drum Talk TV. He also is one of Dan Schinder's best friends. Dan Schinder, of course, the founder of Drum Talk TV. And so A.D. is going to talk a little bit about the shuffle and sort of that um, little mysterious link, the missing link between the swing era of jazz and rock and roll. So having said that, I'm going to turn everything over to A.D., A.D. Adams here from Louis Prima Jr. and the Witnesses. We're going to talk about the Prima Shuffle, the legendary Prima Shuffle that uh, Jimmy Vincent, the great Jimmy Vincent and uh, Bobby Morris made so famous with uh, Louis Prima through the 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, and on through even the 70s. So we're going to talk about the Prima Shuffle, which basically consists of a, a jazz right hand, a jazz ostinato. <laughs> with a four on the floor and a two and a four on the hi-hat and you got your basic so it's slow tempos that nice smooth uh, Louisiana New Orleans groove kind of has that little rough in there with the left hand and it really feels good when you're doing uh, numbers like up a lazy river and things like that. Let me demonstrate it for you. or variations of the Prima Shuffle has been around since the, the beginning of, of Louis Prima's career. It was actually uh, touched upon in 1938 by the great Gene Krupa at uh, Carnegie Hall when he played with Benny Goodman and they did uh, the rendition of, of Louis Prima penned uh, Sing Sing Sing. So uh, we're going to put that in between a nice little tribal groove and then uh, let's see what happens here. Check it out. with the Prima Shuffle, though, and the old standard, uh, old Louis Prima standby jump, jive, and wail, where he kind of intersperses it and mixes it back and forth with a, uh, a sort of a broken shuffle. Let me demonstrate that. Kind of more up-tempo, though, so uh, strap in. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> 